Welcome to Stereo 3D Productions and this Dolphin VR setup tutorial for Zelda Twilight Princess. We have a couple of Dolphin VR Let's Play series on the channel and some of you might want to see how we've got each one set up. So today we're going to start with the one we played first, Zelda Twilight Princess. Let's begin by showing you where to get a copy of the Dolphin VR emulator. You'll find a link to it in the description. At the time of making this video, the most current version is 5.0-250. Download yourself a copy and install it. Then let's suppose you just installed Dolphin VR running on default settings. The emulator is going to first need a few changes to its main configuration before we get a game ready to go. First click Options, then Configure. In the General tab, make sure Enable Cheats is checked if you haven't done that already. Don't worry, we won't really cheat, rather we're going to later enable game-specific visual fixes for VR. For this whole process to work, it's best to have your games listed on the Dolphin VR main window. So next, click on the Paths tab. This is where you'll tell Dolphin VR where your ROMs are. Use the Add button to specify as many different folders as you want. I, for example, have one folder for each game. Next up, go to the Advanced tab and check Enable CPU Clock Override. Without doing this step, we'll start having CPU timing problems when we try to use Direct3D11, so this is very important. Make sure to leave the slider at 100%. We just want to normalize emulated CPU usage, not alter it. This is going to make sure the game never runs faster than the emulator expects it to. You can close that window by hitting OK. Next, it's time to open the graphics settings by clicking the icon in the top bar. First in the General tab, make sure that backend is set to Direct3D11. Yes, the default is OpenGL, and that may be because it's a more stable option, but its performance is a fraction of what we get with Direct3D. These games just don't run fast enough on OpenGL. Remember the importance of enabling CPU clock override in the previous step. Games won't run correctly with Direct3D if you did not do that. Next, go to the Enhancements tab. I like to set my internal resolution at 3x native, but you're free to try different options if you want. This setting will make a big difference. If you go too high, game performance will be severely affected. You can also play with anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering, but I've kept mine at default for now, since I didn't find any changes necessary. Keep in mind, anti-aliasing will also affect game performance significantly. We're done here, you can hit the close button in this window. I'll leave it to you to configure your controls, but I will point out one important hotkey you should configure for VR. This is a seated VR experience after all, so you're going to need a way to recenter your orientation and position so the game faces the correct way. In the main Dolphin VR window, click on Options, then on Hotkey Settings. Find the Free Look Reset option and set it to what you want. By default, this hotkey should be set to F9. Now that you've got a way to reset your orientation and position, you can click OK to close this window. At this point, you should have a main configuration that can work with most games supported by Dolphin VR. For example, this is the same main configuration I use for Metroid Prime. There's usually just one more step for each game you run, which mostly has to do with enabling game-specific AR codes that will apply visual tweaks. Most of these visual tweaks involve disabling culling so you don't see game objects popping in and out of existence in VR. So, to get Zelda Twilight Princess ready to go, make sure you have your games library listed on Dolphin VR. If you specified your paths correctly at the beginning of this, you'll see your games listed in the Dolphin VR main window. You'll want to right-click on the game and go Properties. In the Properties, go straight to the AR Codes tab. Scroll all the way down and check Disable Culling Outside Camera View. 
go ahead and hit close. We are ready to play Zelda Twilight Princess and it's going to look a lot like it was made for VR, put aside the small issue here and there. Now, there are a few issues you may run into with this game in Dolphin VR. First of all, there's the issue where a game's elements won't render correctly or at all. This is extremely rare, but take for instance in Link's house at the beginning. Looking at the fireplace causes the game to glitch to the point where you don't see anything in the room. I know there's probably other spots like this in the game, but for me so far it's the only place I saw something this bad happen. Next, in some places, for some strange reason, the UI will be upside down, or it's just going to be oriented wrong. You can still control, and it seems like the game is working fine, just uh, good luck seeing your user interface while it's literally upside down. Another UI issue I ran into is in some areas of the game, when you open the menu, or the game opens it for you, you will not see a single thing. This can be tricky because you'll wonder what's going on, but normally closing the menu will bring you back to the game. It seems that most indoor areas give us a hard time with the menu interface, so be ready to either use save states for more convenience or to limit yourself to saving games mostly outdoors. Finally, a more minor issue is that sometimes the dialogue text will be hard to see because the camera tends to move far away from it. It's not game breaking, if anything, at the most, it just looks weird. That's it for this Zelda Twilight Princess tutorial. This series of steps may work for most games that Dolphin VR supports, but it's very possible that there are games that won't comply with the main configuration I showed, and it's also possible some games won't have AR cheat items for camera culling. So feel free to experiment if you're trying something else. The last release of Dolphin VR was in 2016, so I'm not too worried, we're probably not going to get a major update to the emulator for a long while. This means that the information in this tutorial should remain valid and current, and if it were to expire, I'd simply scrap this video and put up a new updated one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions regarding this tutorial, go ahead and post it in the comments. Think you've built up an even better configuration? Go ahead and share. Everyone who drops by here will definitely be interested, including me. This is Stereo 3D Productions with a Dolphin VR setup tutorial for Zelda Twilight Princess, and I will see you next time.